Hi everyone, it's me, Darlene. It is Monday afternoon, I believe it's April 25th, and before I forget, I have got to say, again, a big thank you for those two people who sent me gifts fan mail. So excited. And I opened those last night on camera. So if you haven't watched that video yet, please go do. But a uh, funny thing is when I was looking back at the footage to edit, I kept seeing something else like in the yarn and I just assumed it was like part of the packaging or something that had gotten tucked inside the yarn. And I was so nervous through that whole video. Anyway, anytime I do a different kind of video that I haven't done yet, and it dealt with mail. So you know how I feel about mail. But it was it was good for me. Anyway, so it just it, I just never really stopped to pay attention to what I was seeing. And then somebody else commented something about what about the gifts in the yarn? And somebody else replied and said the yarn was the gift. It, nothing was wrapped in there. So now I just brought everything to show my mother while it was nice and bright daylight. Last night it was kind of dark and I wanted her to be able to see everything really good. As I'm showing her the yarn, yeah, sure enough. There's gifts tucked in this yarn, and in this one too. So it's eyeshadow, and I absolutely need eyeshadow. Totally need eyeshadow. I mean, I used to wear makeup every single day, and I just don't anymore because I'm always home. Anyway, these are, I believe, the same, and so blue blaze. And I just like them. They were very bluish gray. So I don't have any new eyeshadow. I have eyeshadow that is so old that you probably wouldn't even want to use it on a pet rock. I was grasping for something interesting to say. and I couldn't think of anything. <laughs> but anyway, you can see. Absolutely love them. Thank you. And yeah, I mean... It's a good thing I showed my mother because, well, I, I do want to start a project with these. I really think I am going to be baking myself a small towel that I can use to wrap my hair up when I get out of the shower because this stuff absorbs. That's why they use 100% cotton yarn like this to make dishcloths. Very excited to start that project. Okay, so let's talk fan mail for a second. I think I will probably go ahead and get a P.O. box because so many of you are asking me. Hang on, I need a sip of coffee. Mm, still have a sore throat right here on this side. Ow. So many of you have been asking me. I don't necessarily want to encourage people to send me things, mainly because I don't need anything, you know, and I don't want you guys to, like, spend money on me. But, however, I know some of you probably really want to, and that's fine and dandy. And I'm thinking if somebody sends me something that I necessarily can't use or, you know, think it's a good thing to share, I would certainly pay it forward. I'm not going to just let all the things gather and be untouched. It's going to be like a new me that I'm going to be willing to part with things. Now one of my favorite places to donate to is we have a thrift store here in Maine in North Berwick, Maine called Another Chance. Anything that they sell the profits go to homeless animals. They don't have an actual shelter but they have foster parents who take care of homeless animals until they find a forever home and all the money goes to help care for those animals. So I just like it. It's a good cause. It's homeless animals. So so, for instance, the same person who sent me the yarn sent me beautiful magazine pages, and I was thinking, the beads that I make out of these pages, I could bag them like I do for the old-timer shop, but just donate them to the thrift store, and then they can sell them for a quarter or whatever they want to sell them for, and the money would go to animals. So it gives me a chance to to satisfy my beading addiction. It also gives the shelter something that they can sell really cheap or they also have like a little donation bucket at their counter so I you know I could suggest to them that anybody who puts even a quarter or you know a dime or a nickel in that jar could have a little packet of beads so that is an idea and then just I don't know you know I don't know what kind of things I would get but I would certainly try to anything crafty I would try to create craft items and donate them somewhere 
or to a hospital or whatever, you know, to children or whatever. I would try to find homes for the things that I create with the stuff that you send me. And then, of course, if it's something that I like and want and need, I'm a keeping it. And then the best thing is it gives me something to do on camera because I'm always looking for ideas. So I'm putting that on hold. It might be a good task for me and Sandy to do on Friday. We usually get together on Friday. So maybe Friday I will be going out and getting myself a P.O. box. And as soon as I do, I will let you know. So my plans for today, what are they? What are my plans? I certainly want to do a video. I would like to do another either YouTube tip or a YouTube inspiration. I have so many ideas for channels that you guys could start and I'd like to do at least one video a week about that and give you like three different ideas. So I'd like to do that. But then for tonight's video, I, I just don't know, but I'm assuming there will be something. It's too bright and sunny for me to go to take a graveyard walk. So I don't think I'll be doing that. I will figure something out. Maybe I need to go to the store later for something and I can do a tag along. Even if it's just in my car, I won't be able to actually like bring the camera in the store if it's Hannaford or Rogers is too much of a small grocery store so I can't I can't do it in there I will think of something for you guys and I do have another doodle going so maybe I'll have that ready by tonight or tomorrow I think maybe tomorrow night I'll have that posted on my craft channel that's it so thank you once again to my fan mail senders I appreciate the things you sent me and uh, I think a P.O. box might be fun and it'll certainly um, you know, be good for <laughs> good for me to to have a place that I have to go like at least once a week to go get mail and to deal with mail and <laughs> not that I feel I need to change my ways about mail. I don't think I need to. I think what I'm doing in this world, my bills are getting paid, so I'm okay with how I handle mail. And if mail makes me sick, we'll put a stop to it. How's that? But no, I think we'll do fine. And like I said, I love uh, doing stuff like that on camera. So that's really, really cool. Okay, that is it. I will be back with more soon. Bye.